All right, guys, welcome to another Steam free-to-play walkthrough. Today we have a game about by Oliver B, which is a text or point-and-click thingy. And this changes. It goes from a game about television. I had to restart because the music wasn't going through my headset, which now it is. Late for work. No bus in sight. Let's run to work. You're exhausted from running. Your boss seems angry. Where, you, where were you? Uh, You're fired. Jackass. What do I do now? Help. The next day, man, it is kind of like really nowhere to go. Still no bus in sight. Enjoy freedom at the park. Work on a new TV. Run to work. Let's run to work again. You're exhausted from running. Your boss, what are you doing here? You don't even work here anymore. Rude. That's yeah, rude. I work here in spirit. It looks like he's like doing push-ups or humping the ground. One of the two. The next day. Nowhere to go, still no bus in sight. Run to work again. You're exhausted from running. Oh, uh, that's all you're gonna give me? Okay, my bad. Sorry guys. Shouldn't have done that again. Uh let's stay home and watch TV tomorrow. That sounds like a fun thing to do. You watch TV the whole afternoon. Afternoon programming fucking sucks. <laughs> True, I guess. I don't know. I don't really watch too much TV. Oh, it's just an animu. The next day. Let's, uh, play video games. Hey, you play video games all day. You feel guilty about it. Nah. <coughs> I got, like, bags under my eyes, dude. Get tuckered, looks like. The next day. Okay. Uh, let's enjoy freedom at the park. You see a jogger and their dog. They're going so fast. They are not going so fast. They are going slow. Trip the dog. Is that a dog? <laughs> These drawings look like something I could draw, but a little bit better. Just a little bit better than what I could draw. Barely. Get in shape with jogging. You feel like the fastest person on earth. Until they pass me. Oh my gosh. Don't let him pass you. Trip him. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Dang it. The next day. Mm, work on a CV. You don't know how long you can manage without a job. You remove all mentions of punctuality from your CV. What's CV? Uh, resume? What is a CV? The oh, next day. Check for a pet in a shelter. That sounds sick. Oh, let's go to a job fair. Why not? We need a job. This feels somewhat meaningless. All opportunities feel the same. Bow tie salesperson, hat salesperson, underwear salesperson. Underwear salesperson seems like the happiest. That's the job we should get. Why is my dude so depressed? He'll be I do. We'll find something you like to do. Probably. Oh, there's a thing. You feel a weird tingling in your belly. What does that mean? Uh, we've done this, 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 this. Let's go check for a pet. There's so many beautiful cat and dogs. Getting one while unemployed would be a irresponsible, though. Which one's the dog and which one's the cat? I'm assuming that's the cat, that's the dog. Could be the opposite. I don't know. Your backside is hurting. Hopefully that will go away. Let's try yoga. Maybe that'll make me feel better. You're not even sure what you're doing. You're not even sure you're doing this right. Anyway, inhale for three seconds. Exhale for five seconds. You try to get the rhythm. Am I supposed to do anything or just like click the options? I guess just click the options. I don't... Help. Yoga sucks. I don't know. How can you exhale for five seconds? <gasps> Something like that. Uh, you're feeling very bad today. This is not normal. Let's go to the doctor. Am I dying? Doctor looks at you for a moment. Pizza pan. 
Take this every day and come back in a week. Pizza pan. Hmm. It's a weird medicine. I can't read. So. Uh, what's our options? Could sleep in. We could hit the gym. Let's go to the zoo. Why not? Zoo is a unique. Oh, I got an achievement. It's a nice place. You so small. Animals don't have any worries. They don't stress over meaningless things. Is it talking crap to me? That is not a giraffe. That's what the achievement said. The next day. Let's uh, just sleep in. Why not? You lay in bed, wide awake. Feel all of your anxieties washing over you. Oh, that's not good. I hate that. That's a terrible feeling. Why does my freaking covers have ketchup on them? Uh, let's hit the gym. Why not? You don't feel like going to the gym anymore. It's just all social pressure anyways. Dang, we don't want to do anything. My life sucks. He's got some high up nips, so god dang his nips are high up. <laughs> nips to his throat. Three days left until your appointment. What are my options? I think I've tried everything. Volunteer at the shelter, why not? You're overwhelmed by cats and dogs. Maybe things aren't that bad. Hey, there we go. Can't tell them apart, but they're everywhere. Oh, one sounds like it's getting feisty. The next day. Okay, we got volunteer at a shelter, check for a pet in the shelter, go to the zoo, try yoga, dun, 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 dun. I guess we'll just sleep in, screw it. The next day. One day left until your appointment. Let's just sleep in. <laughs> Some high quality Pepsi Cherry. Right there. Mm hmm. Time for my doctor's appointment. Yeah, my appointment is today. Let's go. You feel a change in your symptoms? Sure. I guess that's my only option. Do you drink alcohol? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> you smoke? No, I don't. Any drugs? Eh, <laughs> I dabble. Any medical condition we should be aware of? Eh. No medication other than Pizza Pam? No. You skip your medication on any day? No. You like feel like the medication helped? No. You do suffer physical trauma recently that may have caused the pain. Has your stress situation changed during the week? Are you hopeful the pain will go away in the future? Well dang, that was not hopeful at all. You don't feel like waking up. I'm gonna wake up. You don't feel like going out. You don't feel like finding something to do. It's depressing. What's this about? Nothing. This is about nothing. How, when nothing happens, things can get considerably worse. What? You remember the times you were compassionate to others suffering? And you thought that they were courageous. That you wouldn't know how to deal with this. Then it happens to you. And you wish someone had taught you how to be happy. Or how to be sad better. Then maybe things wouldn't have been would have been different. You wonder what you could have been. Maybe this. It's a gingerbread man. Or a jellyfish, one of the two. Or this, a happy person. With a moving face. But then you're you. Yeah, that's fine though. And you don't feel courageous. Don't have to. The next day you don't feel like waking up. But you did anyways. Whatever may happen. Happens. It wouldn't get any worse than this. Because uh, it could get worse. <laughs> wouldn't it? I don't know if wouldn't would be. Why wouldn't you just say would it? You got out of bed, but now what? Okay, I got another achievement. That's what happened. We need to find somebody like social. We need to go be social. We haven't done anything social. You see a bus coming. Let's not take the bus. How about that? Holy crap. That's one strange looking bus. 
<laughs> no, I didn't tell you to get on the bus. What? As the bus moves through the streets, parks, passing cars, parks, and buildings, you realize you never took this route. Change in your life is always good. It's nice not knowing where you're going. Okay. The bus smells weird, though. Well, you can't have everything. Is that it? This is an interesting take on things. It explains depression pretty well, I guess. But, yeah. Could have gave it a little bit more of an optimistic outlook. Kind of like when the darkness comes, it has like that happy ending kind of thing that tells you to keep pressing forward even if things suck. This just kind of says, things are going to suck. Deal with it. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you could, please like and subscribe. Bye!